Now then, what about the slightly uh, slightly trickier situation when you've got two forces that aren't at right angles to each other, as we get in question 1b on page 7 of A Level Physics by Roger Mancaster. We have a force of 20 newtons. And we have a force of 30 newtons. This isn't being drawn to scale. And they are at an angle of 60 degrees to each other. Now using the parallelogram of forces principle, we can draw a parallel line here for the 20 newton force. And let's just label that. That's 20. That's 20. And that's our 30 newton force. And if we draw a line from this corner to this corner, that is going to be the resultant from the parallelogram of forces rule. There we go. And we'll call that resultant R. Now, because it's not the right angle triangle, we can't use Pythagoras' rule to work out R. But we can use the cosine rule. And from this, we can say that R squared is equal to 20 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 times 20 times 30 times cos, and we'll call this angle alpha, cos alpha. Now, what is alpha? Well, if we extend this straight line, Because the 20 line is parallel to this 20 line, and this angle is 60 degrees, this angle here must also be 60 degrees. And because it's a straight line, this internal angle must therefore be 120 degrees, because the two of them must add up to 180. So alpha is 120 degrees and the cosine of 120 degrees is minus 0.5 so r squared equals 400 plus 900 minus 2 times 600 times minus 0.5 which is equal to 1300 and because a minus times a minus makes a plus it's 1300 plus 600, which equals 1900. And so R is equal to the square root of 1900. And if we just go to the calculator and just work that out, square root of 1900. Forty-three point five eight nine. Okay, so we've got R. I'm going to round that up to forty-three point six. So now we just need to know what this angle is, what the angle that R makes to the thirty newton force. So let's just make a little bit of space and work that out. From the sine rule of triangles, we can say that 43.6 over sine 120 is equal to 20 over sine we'll call this angle beta sine beta and if we just change this round rearrange this equation we can say that sine beta is equal to 20 times the sine of 120 divided by 
just make that a little bit neater. Divided by 43.6. Okay, let's just work that out. So we have sine 120 times Times 20, 17.32, divide that by 43.6, and that comes to 0 0.3972, and then if we take the arc sign of 0 0.3972, Calculator's doing funny things. So minus one, we get 23.4 degrees. So we have beta equals 23.4 degrees and r equals 43.6 newtons. So that is the resultant force of two forces that aren't at right angles to each other.